Hello, we're in the Toyota Solutions studio, and joining me now is Kate Brooks. She's the director of the film The Last Animals. Kate, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. So tell us about the film. It focuses on the poaching epidemic, is that correct? Yes, well, I began working on this documentary film three years ago, and we're now in post-production. Um, Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> I know that's an achievement. <laughs> it's been a very long journey yeah. across the entire globe. Um, Literally. Yes. <laughs> uh, so it, it's a feature-length documentary, and it's uh, told through um, a series of character-driven storylines, intersecting storylines. And it looks at the uh, poaching epidemic and also the trafficking networks. So it's essentially you know, a story about an extraordinary group of individuals who are going to all lengths to try to save the last animals on the planet. Why did you want to direct this film? What drew you to the project? Well, a couple of things happened. One, um, in 2010, I went to Kenya on a long planned vacation. And just before that, I was in Afghanistan and I was embedded with a medevac unit. And for 10 days, I was photographing double and triple amputees day in, day out, and um, children who also had an airstrike called in on them. And I left Afghanistan feeling very troubled by much of what I had seen. and. Um, and it was in Kenya, and I was trying to sort of, you know, grappling with all the human destruction that I had just witnessed when this herd of elephants walked across my eye line. And it was, you know, in an instant, it just made me feel as though there was still some order in the universe. So for me, it was incredibly healing. I heard that poaching was on the rise, and I left Africa knowing that I would do work on wildlife. Mm -hmm in the future. I didn't know what that was going to look like. Fast forward a couple of years, I was a Knight Wallace Fellow at the University of Michigan, and although my background is in conflict, I applied as the Environment Fellow. And when um, a few weeks into it, it, I basically decided I was going to focus the fellowship on researching these issues, which I did for an academic year before going into production. So the film, you shot in many different locations. Um, you're on the front lines in Africa. You're in the black markets in Asia. Um, we see backstage sort of political maneuvering, um, the global response to the crisis. What was it like to film in those places on location? Well, it varies quite a bit from place to place. Um, I would say that when it comes to filming um, black markets, that's obviously very tense yeah. um, and can be a bit dangerous. Um, and, and Are you fearful? You know, I have to say, I've gotten to a point where I feel pretty comfortable with undercover cameras now. Yeah. Um, I'm not currently wearing one. <laughs> <laughs> but there was a, a moment when I um, was in a rhino horn dealer's uh, home wow. um, filming. And, you know, different from a shop, they're really, I was You're sitting there realizing that if for any reason it was discovered that I was filming, that I would really be in grave danger. You're in a vulnerable position. Completely. Yeah. Um, then, and, and then in Africa in particular, it does, you know, the, the poaching crisis and, and the ecosystems and what's happening in these ecosystems really does vary from country to country and park to park. But the film really focuses on Garumba National Park which is in DRC, okay. and it is one of the places where there really are true established links with terrorism. Mm -hmm. And the rangers who are there risk their lives every day protecting the elephants that remain. And it's a small fraction of what was there when I was born. I mean, I people talk of now about what it's going to happen that within our lifetimes or our children's lifetimes. But I also think it's interesting to look at what's happened within my lifetime right. and an elephant population that was 22,000 when I was born is now 1,300. And a park that used to have rhinos are now extinct. It's staggering. And, yeah. yeah. Did you face any special challenges as a female director with this project? I faced a lot of challenges <laughs> with this project. It was really interesting. On the one hand, a lot of people were, um, I think, drawn to my profile and background as a war photographer. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, I am a first-time director. And that in and of itself was, has been the biggest hurdle. And it took a very long time, but eventually 
built an incredible creative team. So one of my executive producers was the producer of An Inconvenient Truth, and the writer um, that is working on the film was the writer of The Cove, mm -hmm. and I couldn't be more lucky, but these are people who decided to take a chance on me because they believed in the project and they believed in me and have helped make it happen. So. One more quick question, which is when and where can we see the film? We are planning to release and premiere the film in late summer, early fall. Stay tuned for details. Excellent. Kate Brooks, thank you so much for speaking with us. Thank you. It's a pleasure.